So I guess I'll start with uh, a recap of yesterday. Uh, the first ten levels were actually fairly uneventful. Um, I wasn't actually a fan of the first ten levels. In terms of skills, uh, you're allowed to choose three souls, or sort of three talent trees, per sort of combination for your role. And one of the things that's different about Arc Age that I do kind of like uh, that's different from the other MMOs that I've played, like Rift and WoW, is that with these trees, uh, you can select anything. Um, so anything from any traditional class. For example, uh, in Rift, there are four main classes. Mage, Warrior, uh, Priest, and Rogue. And so within the Priest or Cleric, uh, role, you can choose from, I guess you could say, I think it's seven or nine different souls. So there's different healing souls that you can choose, uh, and there's a few ranged DPS, th those sorts of things. But you can't be a cleric and say, choose one of the warrior souls, or you can't choose to have the pyro from the mage soul, if you're a cleric. And so that's different here with Archage, in that you can choose from any of the different souls that are available. Uh, and so there are ten of those, and so you can com combine the healing soul, for example, Vitality, with the warrior soul, or the pyro mage soul. Now there, there does seem to be a, a bit of a catch-22 with that, so you can put together some really interesting combinations of abilities, but, as you can kind of imagine, these abilities rely on different types of stats. So what I've got together here is what I've found to be a very nice sort of uh, melee, physical attack, uh, warrior kind of a build. And so these uh, physical abilities, uh, they rely on strength. Uh, and that's different from the magic abilities which rely on things like spirit. So you can put together different combinations of souls, but know that just based on your gear, um, you will probably have, you know, some balancing to sort of work out with that. So I just got my first set of plate gear, for example, and it's all strength, which works well with my warrior stuff. Versus cloth is mainly spirit. And leather's kind of got a combination of uh, in between. Got some Twitch chat here. So Twitch chat, uh, there's a suggestion to change the change defense to Aromancy to make a Dark Runner class, which they feel is better than Blighter. So one of the things that I actually found that I really liked about this particular combination after testing out some different things is that there's a lot of hidden combinations that you aren't really told about at the beginning. And I sort of was playing around with these and stumbled into some of them last night, and I wanted to sort of get a breakdown of what do the different combinations do and, and what do they give you. And so what I mean by this is that if you lead in with an attack, let's say a charge from Battle Rage here, and if you actually couple that, uh, combo that with the next ability that you use to be Shield Slam, it actually does a massive amount of extra damage. And so I actually started looking these sorts of combos up last night, and I was using the Arcage uh, Character Builder tool. And so we'll, this is really good to be able to plan out your abilities, and I would highly recommend that. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, if you're trying to try and do it in game, there's no easy way to look at all of the different souls and all the different abilities in game. Uh, without having to like spend a bunch of gold to keep swapping between uh, the different uh, souls. So I'd suggest planning it out doing this. Unfortunately, even within Arc Age's builder tool, they don't give you a list really of all of the combos that I found. You sort of just have to click on some abilities and it'll give you a tab that pops up and shows you the combos. So what I really like about the, uh, the Battle Rage plus defense uh, soul is that I can actually chain combos. So what I have been doing that I found does a lot of damage, I'll start with off with a charge, 
lead immediately into a shield slam, which actually gives me a combo that does 31% extra damage on snare targets, which is one of the things that the charge does. So you essentially get an extra 31% damage. Well, you can also take the shield slam and follow it up with a uh, bull rush. And if you do that, uh, not only is the target tripped, but they also take an extra 42% damage. So as you can imagine, now that we're chaining these combos together, there's a lot of damage that's getting dealt out. So I was watching uh, some of the pyros and stuff uh, do some damage earlier, sort of killing mobs at the same time they were killing mobs to see who could kill faster and whatnot. And what I saw in the other pyros was exactly what I had experienced when I was playing around with the mage and toggling between ice and fire abilities, was that it actually takes them a lot longer to kill things. The I haven't been very pleased with pyro at all at this level. It seems seems pretty weak. So let me show you what I mean here by... I'll do this like standard damage and then I'll put together the combos. Let me jump off my mount here. That is one thing you uh, to keep dismounting in this combat. So it'll give you a feel for just standard abilities and how long it takes to kill things. And then... Oh, somebody's on that one. Let me grab another mob here. <laughs> yeah, so that's Witchcraft. That's the bubble trap from the Witchcraft. I really do like Witchcraft. I think the Witchcraft Soul is going to be really critical for PvP. It's got a lot of control abilities. So this is the combo. And it's dead. Much faster. So by putting together these sorts of uh, souls to chain the abilities, you can pump out a lot more damage than you can even with the uh, an interesting combination of souls. So I haven't actually tried out Oromancy. It didn't look like it was going to... I don't know, it, it didn't look like it had a lot of uh, damage synergy, but maybe it does. Maybe it has some really good combinations that I haven't played out or tested out yet. Alright, so let's get the combo going. <laughs> I didn't even need to use my other cooldown ability there. <laughs> we asked Twitch chat if they have uh, tried it out. So one of the things that, that sort of figuring this out has made me wonder is, okay, well I've got this charge, shield slam, then go into a bull rush, and that does a lot of damage. What is the best combo chain in the game? Now I know a lot of the abilities I won't have access to until much later, but I just kind of wonder, like, what's the longest chain that, that you can have, and uh, how much damage can that pump out? So the other thing um, that I like about Arc Age so far, compared to other MMOs, is going back to this idea of skills and abilities. With Rift and WoW and the traditional talent trees, you have to sort of work your way up and pick up abilities that you don't even necessarily like in order to get to ones later in the tree. Well, that seems to be different here, where it's more based on the level of the soul uh, as to whether or not you can gain access to that ability, and not so much that you have to pick up all of the different abilities if you don't want to. So for example, here, for defense, I picked up Shield Slam, and I picked up Bull Rush, but I haven't bothered to pick up the uh, health buff here. Now, I'm sure that the health buff is really nice, it's just given the limited number of points that I have, uh, I wanted to put it into different abilities other than the health buff. So I've got all three into... Um, Battle Rage that I can here. And so once Battle Rage gets to level 15, I'll be able to pump an extra point into, you know, this ability here, and they all seem to have a, a level 15 ability. Um, and so that is an interesting thing about Arc Age, is that you level up, your, as your character levels up, differently than your pet levels up, or your mount rather, and that's even different than the different souls. You have to level up each soul. So, for example, right now my witchcraft soul is level 10. Uh oh, let me come back. So, 
So that is one thing to keep in mind. If you are planning on swapping around souls to pick up a healing build or uh, just different things, a sorcerer, mage kind of thing, that does mean you will have to level each one of those souls separately. Or I should say in combinations of three at a time. I would like to turn in my quest, please. El Ther was determined to become your ally, to repay you for saving her life. It reminded you of Taya, his partner in crime. The man who'd saved him from the fog assassin and later shared his uniform. History told you the man had to be Jean, who became Kyrios, the god of destruction. However, it was hard to reconcile the friendly face you'd seen with that kind of monster. <laughs> That's funny that Kyrios is the god of destruction. That's actually the shard that I chose to uh, join and server, I should say. 